Hi, I'm Dr. Anirudh, Director at Toothpicks Dental Healthcare, Jainagar, Bangalore. Well, sometimes when the decay has been prolonged or the patient has neglected the tooth for too long, then uh, what happens is that the tooth will have a decay in it, it will have a huge hole on the tooth but the tooth will be asymptomatic. When this is asymptomatic, that doesn't mean that the tooth is healthy. Generally, the inside the pulp, the nerves, the blood supply to the tooth and other things would have already been uh, necrotized. Necrotized meaning it has been dead inside or rotten inside. So in such cases, we would require root canal treatment to once again prolong the life of the tooth. Of course, uh, we would have to remove the infection inside which is not causing symptoms in chronic condition. And the second thing is what we call an intentional root canal treatment. For example, if the doctor suspects an exposure of the pulp, for example, while giving a crown or doing an aesthetic procedure or trimming the tooth, and you know you realize that the pulp is going to be very close to the tooth surface, the dentine, so the, there is a lot of cutting involved of the tooth, then the doctor generally recommends a root canal on an asymptomatic tooth. Well, the other thing is called the intentional root canal treatment. An intentional root canal treatment is done when uh, the dentist suspects an exposure of pulp. For example, while we prepare the tooth, uh, if the pulp is very close to the dentine or you know you feel that the pulp is going to get infected over a period of time or if it's going to reduce the quality of the tooth, then an intentional root canal is generally done when the tooth is not symptomatic. So therefore, to do a root canal treatment, there are multiple reasons. An asymptomatic tooth can also go for a root canal if it has got a chronic infection or it requires an intentional root canal. So it depends on the diagnosis and it depends upon the treatment plan for the patient.